Hello and welcome. My name is Marty Schultz and I'm a specialist here in the Devonport Community School District and I'm here today to tell you about a really awesome program called Snap and Read Universal. Uh, Snap and Read is a program that's designed to help students understand uh, the text that they are reading for uh, their classroom assignments or for homework. It can even read text out loud to you. So let's get started. Uh, to start with, Snap and Read is an extension and it's going to appear in your Chrome browser it looks like this little bullseye icon up here in the top right corner. There might be a bunch of other stuff up there, but once you've um, downloaded it, it's going to appear as this bullseye. I'm going to turn it on right now. You can see that on the right hand side of the screen, this little black bar popped up and it has some icons over here. And these are the different tools you can use in Snap and Read. This top tool that looks like a speaker is called the Speak All tool. That's the tool that's going to read text to you. I'll show you how that works in just a second. This next tool is called the OCR tool, and you'll use that when there is text on an image or um, basically when it's something that it's not text you can highlight or copy and paste or play around with. And so this tool actually uses a computer program to visually look at the image and read it out loud to you, kind of like a human being. So I'll show you that after a little while here. And then this third tool down is called the text leveling tool which is uh, super cool and can help you to understand words that are maybe too difficult or uh, that you've never come across before. And I'll show you how to use that too. Let's start with the Speak All tool. Um, I have an article pulled up here from the New York Times in the science section. Let me bump up the size here a little bit so maybe it's easier for you to see. As you can see, here's the headline and what's called a byline. It says, birds beware, the praying mantis wants your brain. Um, there's nothing too tricky about that sentence, although maybe we've never seen the word mantis before. Um, but it is kind of catchy, isn't it? And there's this really cool photo. Now, this byline gets a little more complicated. It says, scientists have developed a healthy respect for mantises, acrobatic hunters with 3D vision and voracious appetites. Now, maybe you're a person who's never come across a couple of the words in that sentence. Maybe you don't even know how to sound them out and say them out loud so that you know what they should sound like. And you probably, if that's the case, you might not even know what they mean. Let's show you how Snap and Read can help. I'm going to start with my Speak All tool, which is this little speaker icon. I'm going to click on it, and it turns blue. And then anywhere that I click, any word that I click down here, it's going to start reading from that point forward. Let me show you how this works. Birds beware. The praying mantis wants your brain. Scientists have developed to help our respect for mantises, acrobatic hunters with 3D vision and voracious appetites. All right, so as you heard, it definitely sounds like a computer, and it's not perfect, but it can help you understand the way some words are supposed to sound. And depending on where I click in the text, it'll start reading there. So earlier I started by clicking on birds. So now watch when I click on a different word. Acrobatic hunters with 3D vision and voracious appetites. So as you can see, if I've already started reading a text and I'm coming back to it, I don't have to listen to the whole article uh, and the parts that I've read before, I can go straight to the part where I left off and click there. So I'm going to unselect that uh, Speak All tool. And now let me show you this text leveling tool. That's the third one down. Because we've got some pretty big words here. Uh, I see the word acrobatic. I see uh, voracious appetites. And maybe even the word mantis is here. Let's see uh, when I click on it what words it translates for me. So I select the tool and the arrow kind of reverses instead of going from left to right, now it's going from right to left. And I'm gonna come down here and click on this text. You see the screen turns uh, gray for just a moment, and then some of these words got replaced. So instead of acrobatic, it changed the word acrobatic to athletic for me, because athletic is a synonym for acrobatic. It also changed this word voracious into energetic or extreme which those two words are a little bit more familiar to me than maybe voracious. It also, you see in parentheses here, it changed the word appetites into desires to eat or desires for things. So if I turn all of these different substitutions on, now it reads, um, scientists have developed a healthy respect for mantises, athletic hunters with 3D vision, and energetic or extreme desires to eat. Uh, in this case, it is the desires to eat because, uh, well, mantises don't really need things. They just want to eat because they're bugs. So that's how the text leveling tool works. If we scroll down, um, you can see that it's leveled the rest of the text in this article. 
So instead of the word photographer, it showed me that means a person who takes pictures. Instead of the word noticed, it shows uh, that they saw, heard, or became aware of. Um, and as you can see, whenever I click on a word in italics, it shows me the translation of that word or it shows me the original one. I can flip back and forth just like that and it's replaced the words. I love this tool because it doesn't make the text easier. It just makes it easier to understand. And that's really important, you guys, as you're um, moving through your classes. You want to, you know, challenge yourself by reading those hard articles. And this is going to help you uh, to read things that seem too difficult. The last tool I wanted to show you um, is this OCR tool, which looks like this little outline with a plus sign. Let me click on it. Um, Actually, first, let me show you. This is an image. It's a diagram. It shows uh, how photosynthesis takes place in the cells, and it's describing how water and sunlight interact. And you'll notice if, uh, if I'm on this New York Times article and I select the text, see how I can highlight the text? That means that if I wanted to, I could even like copy and paste it. Um, I can use that text because the text editor is uh, able to pick up the text among the code and the HTML. Um, but if I'm looking at this image, well, it's just a picture. If I try to highlight this text, I get this you know, weird, it's telling me I can't do anything with that. Well, Snap and Read can still help. I can come to this OCR tool. I click on it, and now I've got this sort of uh, crosshairs here. And if I select a piece of text and I drag it across, as soon as I let go of the mouse, listen to what happens. Carbon dioxide and water read using light energy to produce glucose and oxygen. Now, I'm glad that we did that because you'll notice that it actually read a word wrong here. It said carbon dioxide and water read instead of react. And I'm really glad that you got to see that because I want you to know that Snap Read isn't perfect. Um, any computer program is never as smart as a human being. And so it's still going to be up to you as the reader to really pay attention to what it's doing. And if you notice there's a CT at the end, um, you're going to realize that should not make a D sound. And you're going to let's see if we can select it again and maybe it'll read it correctly this time. Yeah, that time it said react. So the first time I didn't quite select it all the way and it cut off part of the T and it was only able to read that as read instead of as the word react, which is correct. So that's the OCR tool. Like I said, that one's not perfect, but it does give you some options when you're looking at a uh, difficult text like this that's in an image or something like that. And that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I really hope that everyone wants to use this. I know that sometimes students get nervous about um, using a piece of technology like this in front of their friends because maybe they don't want them to know that you're using a, you know, a piece of technology to help you get through some complex text. But one thing that's really great about Snap and Read is that it's going to live right on your Chromebook. And if you have a set of earbuds with you, when you plug those in, really, unless somebody's looking straight at your screen, they're not going to be able to tell that you're using this program. And so I hope that you uh, will kind of get over your inhibitions and be able to use it because it really is a powerful tool that you can use. Uh, to aid you in your learning. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask your teacher um, or you can reach out to me. Your teacher will know how to contact me and uh, have fun using Snap and Read.